Okay, it is July 29th, 2020. I want to make this video as an archive update slash rant of 2020. Um, I want to talk about all the things that have happened in 2020. Which a lot of it, if you have existed in 2020, have not been good. So, uh, beginning at the beginning of the year, the first thing I can remember the kickoff of 2020 after the uh, World War Three memes was Kobe Bryant passing away. Uh, it was the first thing that I can remember. It was a helicopter accident. And I think his daughter was also involved. I'm going to try to just stick with the facts because I don't want to get anything incorrect um, and put out false information. So shortly after that was the start of the pandemic that is COVID-19, aka the coronavirus. Um, after that, unemployment rates went up. Um, kids had to start taking online classes and then quarantine lockdown which was pretty much like you couldn't fly anywhere um, states are pretty much locked down so you definitely couldn't fly overseas and like only essential workers could be out um, the lockdown didn't work too well there's still a lot of people out that shouldn't have been out yada yada then you have the whole issue of wearing masks slash not wearing masks, which in the beginning, they pretty much was like, yeah, only people working the front lines really need to wear masks, so that's what we did. Uh, then later on, it became pretty essential for everybody to wear masks, and then it was pretty natural for everybody to be wearing masks. Um, then there was the Mayix, situation which I'm not gonna get further into um, if you know you know um, then there was the talks of impeachment I say talks because as of right now uh, at one o'clock in the morning of July 29th 1990 um, like 19, I mean 2020 god dang it uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry my birthday was July 27th 1990 so I get that confused <laughs> going I'm in July month so that's why I said 1990 anyways I'm dating myself um, then there was uh, the George Floyd getting killed with the cop putting his uh, knee on his neck for uh, what was it nine minutes I don't remember the exact amount of time but it was pretty ridiculous um, all this stuff you can probably Google search and figure out exactly what happened from reputable news sources or wherever you get the news from. Um, then after that, there were the protests, the peaceful protests, and then there were the riots, and then there was the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, another movement, pretty much. Um... There is talks of defunding the police. I say talks because as of right now, nothing has actually happened yet along that. Um, then there was uh, Trump deploying the U.S. military on its own people to enforce curfews. Um, and even now, I think he's using um, the Navy, I believe, to... Um, try to break up protests, peaceful protests, which is still crazy. Um, there was the Me Too Council Culture Second Wave Movement. That I want to call, that's what I'm calling it. Um, or I should say media movement. Because everybody's at home locked in their houses, they're pretty much watching more media, uh, watching people. Um, and a lot of people are trying to cancel people that are online. Um, so there was the Twitch streamers and officials that got canceled. Uh, I say that because I don't really watch Twitch, so I don't know who all was really canceled. I really don't care because I don't watch Twitch very often. Um, 
a lot of this is stuff that really impact me more than actual news of what has happened in 2020. So uh, forgive me, but you know, a lot of it just really retains to things that interest me or that has affected me in 2020. Um, there was the wild, there was the wild streamer that committed suicide. I didn't really know him. I didn't never played WoW. Um, I just I just fell for him. Um, there was Mixer shutting down. Rip Mixer. Um, Doctor disrespects mysterious ban. Uh, as of right now, there still has been no word as to why he got banned. I assume there has to be some legal closure agreements going on that prevents him or them from saying anything. Uh, YouTube beauty community drama. Now this, this one probably affected me a lot more. Um, you had Jenna Marbles getting bullied off of YouTube. Um, they attacked her for from what I can say, two videos that she made. One, her doing blackface. She was like Nicki Minaj at the end of a video or something like that. Um, and like the funny thing is, like, of course when she did it, she didn't know what blackface was. I didn't know as a black man what blackface was until someone told me. Because it's not something that they teach you in school that, hey, uh, by the way, uh, we white people used to do blackface to mock and demean uh, the black culture. Like, of course they didn't teach that in school. So growing up, I never knew about that. Uh, wasn't until after I got out of school where someone pretty much informed me of what blackface was. So I don't blame her for doing this and not really knowing. At first, she wasn't doing it to like make fun of a black person. She was doing it to pretty much uh, dress up as a celebrity, as like kind of a joke, you know? I think they did the same thing to like Jimmy Kimmel and stuff like that. But it's like they never, um, they never got like the Wayne brothers for doing the movie White Chick, you know, black people dressing up as white people. But what, whatever, I'm, I'm not gonna, anyways. There was that, and then like some uh, rap song. She's not a rapper, so she she had like some line in there. It was like Ching Chong, Ching Chong, Shake Your Hing Hong, Ding Dong, or something like that. And it's like, sorry, that's kind of racist. I'm bad at rap songs. Like, just you know, not really great comedy. But you could tell it's like, yeah, she was younger, and of course she took those videos down. Uh, when someone told her, like, yeah, no, this isn't right, that was a bit racist, she took those videos down. Um, but, yeah, it pretty much bullied her off the internet. Um, you have the Tati Westbrook video, which I'm not going to get into that whole video. And, I mean, honestly, I don't care too much for Tati Westbrook. Um, I, I feel like <laughs> you're, a, you're a 40 year old woman and you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Um, then there was uh, Shane Dawson getting canceled and I, I didn't watch Shane way back early I only got into watching Shane during the docuseries he seemed like an okay person but yeah looking at a lot of those old videos and things that he did a lot of the stuff is really unforgivable um, so I don't blame people for canceling Shane like I, I think uh, I think he'll be okay I, I don't think it's gonna like He's, he probably won't be doing YouTube ever, if not for a long time. Probably not ever, to be honest. Um, but he'll, he'll be okay. He's not gonna, like, go homeless or anything because of this. Um, yeah, that was YouTube, pretty much. Uh, then you had the FGC pretty much getting cancelled. Um, Smash community, mostly. Um, the biggest person for me... It's definitely like D1 and um, Zero. Uh, Zero was like one of the main people from Smash that I still watch because he was a great content creator. He made great content, even if it wasn't just about Smash. So that, that hurt. Um, then there was the quote-unquote 
second wave of the coronavirus, which I say, quote unquote, because we haven't gotten over the first wave because you have people who are trying to make wearing a mask a political statement. It's like we're trying to stop a pandemic. Just wear a mask. Like people act like you're you're taking away their rights by forcing them to have to wear this mask and it's like no. <laughs> oh god. So now that we're going to the quote unquote second wave of the coronavirus now they want to force kids to face-to-face -face classes in a pandemic. They're going to force our kids. So because the adults couldn't be responsible and wear masks and um, ended up having this second wave of the coronavirus happening, you now have uh, forced the kids to have to go back to school wearing masks. And it's like... First of all, you have the younger kids who probably don't really understand or are already very dirty to begin with because they're kids. And then you have the foreign students who are here, you know, from visas and are being forced into face to face classes to keep their visa. Um, and it's all just a money thing, right? Like, it, no one really cares if these kids do face. It's all just a money thing. Like, if they don't have face to face classes, then the government loses out on money. So they're trying to force kids back into. It's. Uh, it's I, I don't understand how people can do so much wrong and just act like they're doing the right thing. I, I don't know. I, I guess it's the same thing for, like, villains, right? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Kanye trying to run for president. All right. <laughs> oh, 2020. Uh, you are pretty amazing. Um, it's it's so stupid. Like the whole Kanye running for president. Like obviously he's not going to win. Um, they're trying to say that he'll take the black votes away, but it's like black people don't vote for Kanye. After you said slavery was a choice, like, one, it's pretty racist to just assume that black people will vote for Kanye just because he's black. Like, just because someone's black or you like their music doesn't mean you have to, you know, agree with their political views and stuff. It's like if you have a friend, you know, y'all don't have to agree on every single thing. It's like he likes pineapple on his pizza and you like chicken. It, it's like you don't you don't have to agree like okay agree to disagree all right that's what you like this is what I like move on but uh, I'm, I'm going into a whole nother rant um, so as of right now that's all the worst things that I could truly think of that has happened in 2020 um, we're only halfway through the year July is almost over so yeah uh, a little, little over halfway through the year and um, it's look, looking pretty bad. <laughs> I, I don't think we're going to get a vaccine until next year. So, on another note, things for me that have come up for me to uh, be happy about. Um, they announced a remake for Shin Megami Nocturne. <laughs> which uh, is Shin Megami 3 Nocturne. is one of my favorite games. Um, from PS2 era and one of the hardest games way before Dark Souls is like people now will probably play this game and be like oh this is like the Dark Souls of RPG it's like this was Dark Souls before Dark Souls was Dark Souls but you know youngsters they don't know um, and then they finally gave us a release date to Shin Megami Tensei 5 now I think I had talked about this in another video or I, I looked up some tweets because I was trying to find some information, like any information on this game because they announced it and then there was nothing. And then if you go to like Atlas's website there or Twitter, all they're talking about is Persona 5 Royale and like all this other Atlas games that they make in. And it's just like, what what happened to this game? Where's the, where's the info? But both of these games have been slated uh, for a release date of 2020 and I'm super hyped for them. And then, <laughs> to, to add on to, to the hype, um, 
PSO2. PSO2 decided to announce PSO2 New Genesis. I can't, I can't express to you how hype this makes me. Um, or how hype I was initially when I saw the video. I was so hyped for it. And, um, it's, uh, the hype has kind of calmed down now because we've gotten new information about the game. The game is pretty much PSO3, and you're going to be able to carry over your characters, but all your progression will not carry over. They're trying to give people a fresh start. This is pretty much Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn, but for PSO, um, which I'm fine with. You know, this, this allows people who didn't play PSO2 to get into this game and, and have a fresh start and not be behind because, you know, oh, you didn't play the game when it first came out in this seven-year-old game. Um, but it is kind of, like, annoying seeing it because it's like, oh, we just got this game. We haven't even gotten to episode four. Oh, by the way, <laughs> on another note, uh, they did announce episode four and a Steam release. Um, quoted today is a week from now. For a week from me making this video. Uh, we will have the Steam release and Episode 4, so yay to that. Um, but they're still trying to rush the, the NA version of the game to be caught up with the JP version so they can then come out with this new game for us to then have to start over again. is is kind of hard to tell people to invest in. Um, so I, I don't know how I feel about it. You know, I was really hyped for it before, and now I'm just like, okay, so this is a brand new game, pretty much. You're going to have to start over all your progress. But, uh, that's fine. I, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, and before I make this video any longer, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wrap things up. Um, an update on the channel. So, I haven't been making a lot of videos. I have started to stream instead, so I'm streaming on Twitch. Um, more than I am making videos. So, um, if you if you want to uh, watch me in the future, you should uh, come watch me on Twitch. It is uh, twitch.tv slash zero kurosagi. Um, so, my plans are pretty much to stream on Twitch. And any gameplay videos I do that or like um, really big games or whatnot, um, or like I just want to upload on to YouTube, I'll clip it, you know, make that video, edit it, make that video, and post it on YouTube. So I'll primarily just be streaming all of my gameplay when I'm playing games, and then anything I feel like it is important that I want archived, I will clip it and edit it and post it onto YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my plans for the channel for right now. But that being said, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and again, follow me on either YouTube or Twitch, whichever one you want to watch. Choice is yours. And uh, yeah, have a good day.